So RV industry, the RV stock, we back in what, 2019, 2022 or to 2021, we had a, almost no stock. Now we have a lot of stock, a lot of 2022s, 2023s. What, what, what's going on? What, we, we did the opposite there. Yeah, you know, it's industry wide. It's just a really, it's a supply and demand thing, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted an RV through COVID so they could, you know, just like swimming pools. Everybody's buying swimming pools. All of a sudden, a, literally a $40,000 swimming pool was $100,000. You went on a three year waiting list. Uh, by the way, that waiting list is gone now. Mm -hmm. So RVs are the same way, right? Everybody everybody wanted an RV, so dealers bought like crazy, bought everything they could. The industry only built retail solds, mm -hmm. um, kind of that way right now with Class Cs. You know, they're kind of only building retail solds. But now, if, if you're looking for a travel trailer, a uh, fifth wheel, a hybrid, uh, this is sort of like a hybrid, right? If, you, if you're looking for any kind of towable toy hauler now's now's the time today's the day why because dealers have a bunch of them yep. so that puts you back in the control right uh for example we're running a, a stock discount we 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 don't do that but we have so much stock all the dealers have so much stock right now so don't buy into the a lot of guys are still using the sales pitch well you know there's not that many of them out there so no there's a bunch of them out there all you gotta do is drive by rv dealers um, so any kind of towable, travel trailer, fifth wheel, hybrid, any of those uh, pop-ups. If you're looking at Super C, Super C's the semi front end uh, motorhome, those, great time to buy a Super C. Mm -hmm. uh, Class A, diesel pushers, gas, great time to buy them. Uh, Class C motorhomes, uh, if you can find them, like we have some in stock, but there aren't a ton of them. Uh, Ford just cut the chassis again for this year, so there's not going to be a ton of them. Yeah. Uh, Super C's, get everything in writing. I'm not telling you not to buy them right now. Buy them. Uh, pricing's better than it has been in a while. What I'm saying is be careful. You know, you go to buy a Super C or, or a Class C and order it, and a dealer says, I'd have it for you in three weeks. Get that in writing. And then make them put in writing that if they don't deliver in that time frame, you get your deposit back. When they won't do it, then you know you're not getting it in three weeks. So just, just be very, very careful uh, with Class Cs. But it really, anytime you order, you need to ask a few questions. You know, make sure you don't miss a camp. Because we have people that miss whole camping seasons. Yeah. You know, they miss the whole year waiting for, on motor For homes. waiting on the order. Yeah, the, things like that. Use, what are you guys hearing with use? Because I, I hear a lot of customers asking for use, and I find that interesting. Well, and that, uh, so, so the two things I was just going to add to that real quick. I'm, I'm getting two types of customers right now. I don't, I don't really want to segment in, in two different, but I'm getting a lot of educated customers right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who know this is the time to buy. Just like you'd buy a coat in the summertime, you're going to get a better deal. Sure. So a lot of educated customers coming out of the woodworks, they know they're going to get that deal today. Um, and that's why we're, we're having the sales that we're having. That's why we're doing the things we're doing with us out of the equation. The other people, um, back to your question about the used market, I, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm getting a lot of people, they'll inquire about a new one new fifth wheel, a new, new travel trailer, new motorhome. Hey, do you have a used model by chance? I'm, I, and I hate to assume, but what I'm willing to do is assume that you guys are only asking that because the, you're assuming that you're either paying too much for the new one, you're worried about things dropping down for some reason, or you're simply just price conscious. You're looking for a lower price on that same model. Unfortunately, with what we're saying on the wait times, the supply and demand, guys, if you have to wait X amount of weeks or months for a product that you're ordering, what's to stop the person that's selling a used one for more than they paid for it? Well, for, and, for and I was just going to say, what we've actually seen, it's hard to shop used, Yeah. right? If I'm buying a new Ibex <laughs> and I know the model, I can call every Ibex dealer, I can do a search on the internet and, yeah. and, and check pricing. Not not exact because of the hidden fees, but I can check pricing. How do I shop a used Ibex? Right. Right? I may not even find another one in the country for sale right at this moment. Uh, if I do, it may be 18 states away. Mm -hmm. But what we're finding is they're actually, not only are the used artificially inflated, like, like the new were, but the used even more so. We have seen customers that have found our new pricing and said, you're cheaper than the one I just found used. I, I just dealt with that with the gentleman yesterday on a Super C. Yeah, yeah but see, people are thinking, I got to buy used right now, the newer too expensive. 
No, Make you sure are so, you you are paying an inflated price, be, yes. and 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 I think the the other biggest thing, uh, Dalton brought up a good point here when we were off the camera for a minute, but people pay. Chances are, if if you bought it within the last two years because of supply and demand, you probably paid a lot more than what you should have. Right. Again, chances are, I've just just from what I've seen, right I've been getting a lot of, of trade ins that were obviously from out of state people that did not purchase from us, hadn't heard about us at that time for whatever reason, I mean, brand we didn't carry, weren't willing to travel, whatever the case is. I I can't make up that difference of the ten thousand dollars that you paid more versus what you would have bought it from me as. It's but 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 in the used market, if you decide to go that way, not only are you paying what that person unfortunately did, you're not getting a warranty. You don't know what issues you're inheriting. Who's giving you your walkthrough? Who's doing? There are so the many. Why is someone selling the used one after one year. After one year. So, just recapping on the used stuff, you guys, and this was my general synopsis on people's conversations is, a lot of dealerships aren't taking in trades because, or being price gouged customers being price gouged and they can't trade them in because they're so upside down on them well and, and we've we see the nada dropping like f fly i mean it the numbers every <coughs> quarter we are issued a new nada book mm -hmm. it is 10 uh, percent less than what it was the three months before those people that are holding on to their campers even to wait until spring because i'll i'll sell it easier or i'll have more buyers sure but if that buyers an educated person and looks at what the value is and sees what the comparable notes are, chances are you're just digging yourself a bigger hole. And that's what... Uh, it's, today's a good day to buy. Yeah.